Hey everybody, today I want to talk about this Beatles box set. This is the Magical Mystery Tour uh, Deluxe Special Edition. This was released in 2012, and uh, when this originally came out in 2012, um, I thought about getting this box set, but I actually didn't end up getting it at the time. Uh, I just picked this one up a couple of weeks ago. Um, and in 2012, I just got the standalone um, DVD release of Magic Mystery Tour, the film, uh, which I liked very, very much. I uh, had a bunch of, uh, I love how they cleaned up the film and they remixed the audio for the, um, for the soundtrack uh, ver uh, portion of the film. Uh, and the audio sounded really, really good. Uh, and yeah, I was just overall pleased with that DVD release. And I didn't really think I needed to uh, pay the extra money to get the whole box set. But man, was I wrong. Um, this is, I think, an overlooked Beatles box set. Now, it's not like, um, this is before they started doing all the uh, super deluxe edition box sets, like the Sgt. Pepper uh, box set of the White Album, Abbey Road, etc., etc. This is 2012. So, um, this was kind of, in a way, like the Beatles sticking their toe in the water to kind of test out the, um, the like box set uh, realm, I guess is what I would say. Um, because this is very, very cool and you get a lot of great things inside of this. And the thing that I was really the most excited about getting uh, is the reproduction of the original mono uh, uh, UK version of the EP that was released for Magic Mystery Tour. Um, I was excited to get this and, uh, and to listen to that. So before I tell you what I think of the EP and uh, everything else in the box set, uh, let me first show you the actual box itself and the contents you get inside. So again, I picked this up on eBay. This was a used copy, so it was opened. Uh, and the person before put the hype sticker on the very front of the box. I wouldn't have really done that, um, but they did it and that's where it's gonna stay from now on. So there's the front. There is the back. And it's got a cool spine all the way around. And it's a very, very sturdy box, I'll say. Um, uh, very, uh, very, just a very a good looking uh, box to have on your, on your shelf or, or wherever. Just very nice and solid. And it has like a little flap here that has a magnet inside. So it attaches very snugly, which is nice. Then when you open it up, Trying to open it up and show it on camera at the same time. So what you get when you open it up, you get, I always like this illustration here that it's also included on the original EP and the original Capital album as well. The Beatles and their magicians outfits. Then you get a great book that comes with the box. Nice, uh, a nice thick uh, paper. And the book has a, an introduction from Paul McCartney, much like um, he does for all of the uh, Super Deluxe Edition box sets that came out after this. Um, and then there's a bunch of just, there's a great, um, great write-up of just the background of the film and how they filmed it. Then there's a part about um, where they actually did the filming, which is very interesting as well. And then there's like a, a diary of the filming, so like a day-by-day -day um, explanation of what scenes they shot and where they shot them and some cool kind of like behind the scenes photos as well. So a very, very, very cool booklet that comes with this box. I should say too that this box, uh, obviously, if you don't know, it, the emphasis is more on the film and not so much the, the actual EP. I got this for the, for the EP really and for the sound quality of the EP to see how that sounded all that kind of stuff. But, this is really the emphasis is on the film of this box set. So you might be wondering like, why isn't there more uh, information on, on the songs and the recording and all that kind of stuff? Well, that wasn't the intention of this box set. Uh, you also get uh, kind of a, a little ticket to go on the Madison Mystery Tour. The back's got an interesting rainbow. Cool little just fun thing to throw into the box. I put it in the book as a bookmark. Then, um, this uh, actually houses the movie itself. You get the Blu-ray and DVD. I think the back is very cool. And it's made to, I think it's made to look kind of like an alternate 
uh, version of the actual EP itself. There's inside, there you get the uh, Blu-ray and the DVD. And I'm not really going to talk about the film all that much, um, other than to say that this is the definitive version of Magical Mystery Tour, in my opinion. They cleaned it up so well. It looks amazing. It sounds great. Uh, the bonus material is very uh, interesting as well. Uh, there's a full director's commentary by Paul McCartney, which I highly recommend watching. Um, so, yeah, overall the film uh, repackaged and, and uh, I guess you'd say uh, remastered and all that kind of stuff. Excellent, excellent uh, job. Okay, now, here is the EP, and this is the main thing that I wanted to pick up uh, when I got this box set, so let me put the box to one side for now, and let's talk about this EP. So, um, for those of you that have the original uh, UK EP that came out, um, this one is quite a bit different. Um, the cardboard is a lot thicker, is what I would say. It's also very, very glossy. I don't know if that shows up on my camera or not. There we go. Very, very glossy, and I think that's really cool. I, I like that. Um, the spine uh, doesn't have any kind of indication that who, the artist or, or the title of the EP or whatever, that's okay. The back looks the same, of course. Then when you open it up, it looks very much the same as an original UK EP, except the booklet is now on very, very thick uh, paper, which I think is really cool. Um, the only thing is it makes the overall packaging a lot thicker as well. Again, not a complaint, it's just uh, a little, something a little bit different than the original EP. The original EP, the paper was very, very thin, um, and uh, it tended to be very, very delicate is what I would say. This one's very, very solid, um, and I don't think there's any, there's no worry of it, you know, tearing out or anything like that. Um, the actual records themselves. Now I put them in polylined 45 sleeves. Uh, they didn't come with that. They came with just regular white um, sleeves that weren't polylined. And the vinyl, itself. It's very, very thick. I assume it's 180 gram. I don't know. I didn't weigh it. But there is reproduction of the original UK label, Parlophone. I shouldn't say that. I should say it's not a true reproduction because they've obviously added their own um, new information to this, modern information, but they're trying to kind of reproduce the original UK Parlophone label. Um, and I won't show you the other record because it looks the exact same. Now, as far as the sound quality, so these are the mono um, mono recordings. So this is the original mono EP, and these are the um, these are the mono um, the mono uh, remasters from two thousand nine. So this this was actually released right before the mono uh, vinyl mono box set that came out in two thousand fourteen, the white box. Um, so this was kind of like an early like almost like a little test for how the uh, mono recordings were going to sound on vinyl. Now here's the thing about this box set that I am not, uh, I don't know for sure if this is true or not. I haven't been able to find it online. It doesn't list it anywhere in the booklet or anything like that. I'm not sure if these were pressed like that mono box set in 2014, which was totally an all analog uh, signal um, and they sound amazing. I'm not sure if these were done that exact same way. I have a feeling that these are the um, mono remasters from 2009, that they are the digital um, mono remasters like you would get in the mono box set for the CDs that were, that were released, the little white box set. Uh, I think it's the same masters, um, digital masters used to press to vinyl for this. I would assume that's what's going on with this because I feel like if it was done any other way, the all analog way, they would, uh, promote that or try to state that somewhere because that would be a, a big selling point. That being said, um, the sound quality of this is very, very good is what I would say. Um, I've read uh, some people's reviews of this online. A lot of people rave about this and think it sounds excellent. It's like their favorite version of the Mono um, Master Mystery Tour EP on vinyl. That's not the case for me. Um, while it is in no way bad, um, it's it's missing a little bit of something is what I'll say. Uh, my favorite mono version of 
Imagine Mr. Tour. Uh, the songs from the EP, I should say. Um, it's this right here. This is from the 2014 mono uh, box set box, the vinyl box. And this is an all analog uh, pressing. And these are just amazing. Anyone who owns this pressing, you know. Um, it's so warm, so punchy, just an overall amazing listening experience. So this is still my go-to when it comes to listening to Imagine Mr. Tour on vinyl in mono. That being said, um, this EP sounds really, really good. Um, it's compared to the compared to the 2014 uh, release back here. It just seems to lack a little bit more of the of the warmth and the depth is what I would say. Um, it seems a little bit um, how can I say? It doesn't really have as much life is what I would say. If you were to A B the two, um, it's just. It's a pleasant listen, and uh, if this was the only version of the EP that you had, uh, I'm sure you'd probably be happy with it. You wouldn't think you were lacking anything. Uh, but when you listen to the 2014 uh, Mono Remaster, it really uh, is pretty obvious that this is an all analog pressing, and this one probably is not. That being said, um, how many times am I going to say that, that being said, by the way? I don't know. Probably a couple more. Anyway, I'd love to know in the comments below uh, if any of you have more information on this EP. Uh, is it an all analog pressing? Uh, is it a digital pressing? If, uh, if, if you have any information on that, um, any solid information where it's uh, definitely stated that this is either analog or digital, I would be interested to know. Um, but overall though, I gotta say, this box set is really, really fantastic. They, um, they really put a lot of thought into it. Uh, they didn't uh, cut any corners, in my opinion. Uh, everything is just top-notch as far as the packaging goes. Um, the movie looks great. The EPs sound really good. That's really all you can ask for. when it, you're, This is just like a bonus uh, piece, really, when, it, when you think about it, because the box set is really focusing on the film. So for just a bonus EP thrown in, it's great to have this, uh, and it sounds really, really good. So. That is the Magical Mystery Tour, um, I guess they would call it the uh, Deluxe Edition. I think that's, what they're, that's the official title of it. Released in 2012. I'm so happy to have it in my collection now. And uh, love to know what some of you think about this uh, box set. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, in the near future, we will get an official Magical Mystery Tour Super Deluxe Edition box set focusing on uh, the album, the the music itself, not really the film, uh, because there are so many amazing outtakes from the Magic Mystery Tour songs, uh, and they could really put together an amazing Super Deluxe Edition box set for Magic Mystery Tour. Um, just off the top of my head, they could um, they could include Carnival of Light, which is this, an, um, you know the epic unreleased Beatles song that's just an off guard. Uh, just crazy sound collage thing. It was recorded during the Sgt. Pepper sessions, but wasn't released on the Sgt. Pepper box. But Magic Mystery Tour would be the perfect place to put something like that. Um, and then there are just numerous outtakes of the songs recorded for Magic Mystery Tour. That would be great to have as bonus tracks. And then they could even include like the German, uh, a reproduction of the German pressing that we all love, the stereo pressing. Uh, that would be something cool to throw into the box set as well. Just my two cents, but I really do hope that they eventually release a Magic Mystery Tour Super Deluxe Edition box set. I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. I still believe the next box set, the Super Deluxe, to come out will be Rubber Soul. Hopefully we get an announcement for that very, very soon. Uh, and uh, until then, all we can do is hope. So that's it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and uh, bye for now.